Hello, this is Mark from the MeTechie channel. Thanks for joining me on this video. I wanted to introduce you guys to the Showmaven green screen collapsible chroma key panel. Essentially, it's a green screen that you fold up almost like a reverse projector screen. Remember the old days in school, you were able to pull a projector screen down? Well, this one sort of goes up in reverse. And there's some differences between what I've been using prior to this to this. What have I been using prior? I've been using the foldable green screen that goes behind your chair. And that's perfect if you are sitting down. In fact, it's got a lot of great practical applications. And when you fold it up, it folds up fairly small, easy to tuck away. You could slip under a bed, things like that. This other screen, you've got to think about where you're going to put it. Now, it fits vertically pretty well. Might be able to fit it in a broom closet, maybe. But it's a pretty big unit. It does fold away nicely. It's super easy to use. And the big complaint with those foldable green screens is people have trouble folding them. And I know this firsthand because I created a folding video and it's got thousands of views and hundreds of comments about people thanking me for showing them how to fold it. So I get that. So let's talk about this one, this reverse projector screen, I like to call it. It's the Showmaven green screen collapsible chroma key panel for background removal with auto locking frame, wrinkle resistant fabric, and that's another thing. These folding screens can be kind of wrinkly, although in the end, I'm not sure if it really matters that much when you're actually chroma, chroma keying out. The, you know, the results of the wrinkles don't really tend to be a huge issue, but people do get freaked out of the wrinkles. This screen is absolutely wrinkle free, so it's awesome. Let me just show you now, I'll set it up. So I'm gonna go get it bare there back in the corner where I'm pointing. Then I'll angle the camera down so you can see the whole thing. Okay, so this is the screen. Now what I recommend is when you are adjusting it, you open the feet when you are holding it, just like this. One and two. So now my supports are out and I can put it down on the ground. And you wanna make it so that the clips The opening clips are facing you, like so. And then you also want to get an idea of where this is going to fall width-wise. Keep an eye on what you're going to lift it up into because it's going to lift straight up and become a giant green wall here in a second. Okay, so you open up the lid like so. Simple enough, and then you have to grab it from this middle, and then you're just gonna pull up on it. And you might find that you have to give it a little bit of a tug, and then pull straight up. And you wanna hold it from the middle, because if you don't hold it from the middle, uh, there's a chance that you could skew it, although I have yet to do that. So you hold it up. Let me adjust the camera so you guys can see. It's gonna get tall here in a second up like this and then I'm a shorter guy so I'm gonna kinda stand almost on my tippy toes and get it to the point where you feel it kinda resist and then it might feel like it's gonna fall over but it really won't I suppose if you really push it it will but it's fairly stable and it's perfectly flat so in that respect it's really awesome and I can literally just push this down with one hand if I wanted It just folds up just like that. Let me pull it up again here. Now, this is a thousand times easier than the giant green screens that you have to hang on a clip. You know, they unfold. They're about this big. Well, not even quite this big. But you have to kind of unfold it, and then you have to wrangle it. It's, it's a little bit awkward. This one, because it's got a fixed base, and this fixed support system, it works really well. In fact, it'd be worth it for me to show you. I'll flip it around here real quick. I'd like you to see the back mechanism because it's worth it. It's a, it's a clever design. Okay, here we go. You see how it's hydraulic? in a sense. It's pressurized so that it supports itself. So you've got these right here, these rods, very much like you'd see 
in the trunk of a car. And that pushes up on the frame. And then the frame sustains the entire green screen fixed at this center position here. So that's the ingenuity behind this. And that's what makes it super simple to work with. All right, so that's a little bit about what this does. The main reason I got this screen was because I wanted, I have a standing desk and I wanted to present while standing so that I didn't have to keep going down and sitting while presenting. Now for most people, sitting is preferred. A lot of people have a hard time working with a standing desk. I get that too. But I have gotten used to it, so I want to stand and present. So this green screen is perfect. It hides everything behind me that you see here. So long as I have it close enough, it has to be probably about a foot away from the back of me. So setting it up, taking it down is just about as easy as the folding screen on the back of the chair. It's definitely not as portable as a green screen that folds in the back of the chair. So if you want to pick up this screen, it's available on Amazon. I put links below this video in the description. Feel free to do that. I do get an affiliate commission for that, but not very much. And But it is a little something, and it kind of juices me up and makes me happy that people are uh, able to use those links and benefit from, hopefully, these videos. Thanks for joining me, and if there's anything in particular you want me to focus on, let me know. I feel sort of moldable on this particular channel, meaning I've got a lot of technical skills and a lot of passion around tech. So if there's something you want to learn about, um, post a comment and we'll see if I can make a video on it. Thanks for joining me and we'll talk to you on the next one.